Right, so who's this Nella Rose I've been hearing so much about? Nella? 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 Right. Nella? 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 Nella! Nella Rose is a 26-year-old YouTuber, TikToker, turned TV presenter who's now wreaking havoc on ITV's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Apparently yeah. you're anti-immigrants. And you're... Who told you that? Nella has been, uh, frankly, a constant nuisance since she entered the jungle. The first thing you have to know about Nella Rose is that her parents are dead. She's like Hamlet, right? You need to know that before you meet her. Otherwise, all hell will break loose. Morning, darling. Morning, babe. Morning, Nick. <laughs> hey, Nella. Last night after dinner, Fred has made a comment about him basically how he could be my dad. And I took offence to that because one of the first conversations we had together was me opening up about the fact that my dad's passed away. OK, so you're probably thinking kind of innocuous so far. She got a bit offended by that guy who said something about her dead dad, right? He didn't say anything about her dead dad. Uh, she is looking to be offended. I have zero empathy. I have absolutely no empathy for people who have a chip on their shoulder. And nobody does, in reality. Right? If you're with somebody who is constantly mentioning the shit things about their lives, you end up despising them. And you need to tell them that. She's 26. She could learn from this. Everyone's gonna fucking hate you if you carry on like this. You're gonna see what I mean. I'm worried also to cut my fingers with this bloody knife. Got to be very careful. Jeez. I don't know how you lot are doing this without glasses. Well, I can't see anything. Do you wear contact lenses? No. Oh, sh But didn't, didn't you have that surgery thing? Yeah, I did, but... It's not like... The best. I had it because I'm old. Oh, sh My eyesight wasn't so good and I had You're to have glasses. Old, right? I'm 51. Yeah, but that's not old, though. Yeah, but I'm not 26 anymore, am I? I could be your dad. Pardon? I could be your dad. No, my dad was way older than you. Yeah, but I could still be your dad. Mm, no, I don't think so. So, to recap, 51-year-old guy says, well, I'm not young anymore, I'm not 26, like you, to the 26-year-old girl. I'm old enough to be your dad. She goes, no, I don't think so, my dad was way older than you. To which the poor fellow responds, no, well, I could still be your dad. No, I don't think so. And I know some people are going to come at me for imitating that accent, that uh, South London lilt, shall we say. You know what? I'm just going to say it. I don't think that accent is real. I think it's about as real as the Valley Girl. Ah, oh my God, right? It's an accent that kind of came into existence at the end of the 90s, popularised by musicians like Dizzy Rascal, 12 back boots on my bedroom floor. Nobody really talks like that. Not really. Stop faking it. I can see you. I didn't say anything about it last night because I was kind of just annoyed about it. So I slept on it and I kind of thought about it and I was just like, this is not the kind of person I want to be around. Right, yeah, that's uh, reasonable, I guess. You wouldn't want to talk to the 51-year-old guy who just in passing said, well, I'm old enough to be your father to you, a 26-year-old. Just in passing, by the way, I'll just mention this, though I don't like to talk about my personal life. When my daughter's 26, I will actually be 51. 52. Whatever. Same thing. Now, I reckon you should eat this. I haven't seen you eat anything. I'm good. I'm good, babe. Yeah, babe. Thank you, there. No, seriously, Nella, you should eat, don't you think? Nella? 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 Right, so why does he keep calling you? Nella? Nella? Darling? Can Nella? you leave me alone? You don't want to eat? Leave me alone. Okay. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Danny, give her a chance. Give her a chance to explain herself, right? Go on, then. This morning, I offered some rice to Nella, and she didn't want any. But somehow, I felt like something was wrong. And um, all of a sudden, suddenly, it all kicked off. Mate, you've missed out on that rice. That was absolutely banging. Oh, yeah. Mm, yummy. Risotto. Ooh. Is there anything more immature and narcissistic than... Cutting off your nose to spite your face. She won't eat the rice. She's going hungry because the guy she's pretending to have been offended by has cut the rice 
And so she's going to go hungry because she won't eat the food of the guy she's pretending offended her. There is nothing more disgusting to me in this universe. Fuck that! Nella, you don't want your rice? <laughs> I... no. You really? I don't want to talk to you. What have I done to you? You made a comment yesterday. What did I say? And you know, you know what comment you no, said. No, what did I say? So you know that my mum's dead. You and you know, and that. you know that my dad's dead. You know that, right? Yes. I've come to find out that every time I want to get creative around the fire or I want to have something my way, my own food that I'm uh -huh. entitled to, my way, you tend to get an attitude, right? What? Okay. So yesterday, when I wanted to burn fat that you was going to throw away anyways, it's not even something that we needed for, to survive okay. in camp. You turned around to me with an attitude and said, you know I could be your dad, right? You know I could be your dad, right? Yeah, you know, I think this is uh, what really um, hooks people with reality TV. It's that uh, we get to see situations from our own lives played out in real time, but from lots of different angles, all caught on HD cameras, right? <laughs> uh, Nella there, who hasn't been in a situation like that where somebody you were with tells the story, tells, replays the conversation in front of other people and literally repeats what you said. She said, you said, I'm old enough to be your father. But she makes it sound like uh, like he was intimidating her, right? She says that, oh, you don't like me getting creative around the fire. And you turn around and you said to me with an attitude, I'm old enough to be your father. I'm old enough to be your father. We all saw that that was not what happened at all. He was just sort of saying, yeah, I'm old. I've got, you know, bad eyes. I've had to have operations, you know. We all saw how he really said it, but he can't deny that he literally said, I'm old enough to be your father. All he can say is, well, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't say it like that. I didn't, you know. We've all been in situations like this. And uh, Nella Rose is the kind of person that we should absolutely despise and throw out of society. And I feel like we spend too much time and too much energy on these people and uh, I know I'm making a video about her but uh, you'll see debates now she's gonna she's gonna cause debate she's gonna go in there she's gonna be an agent of chaos she's gonna be a provocateur provocateur on uh, on uh, I, I'm a celebrity and uh, there's gonna be lots of debates about her just remember she's a fucking horrible person right and she needs to be told what a horrible person she is continuously until she changes or fucks off. To me, I don't care how you said it. To me, that's disrespectful. And I don't want to talk to you. I okay. don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be around you. I only allow people to disrespect me once. You hurt my feelings. I was very upset till this, till this very morning. And you keep trying to speak to me when I don't want to speak to you. I would rather stay away from you. I don't want to eat your food. I don't want to talk to you. We can just live. You live on that side. I live on this side. And it's cool. Don't bring up my dead parent. Are you stupid about, oh, you know what could be your dad? Right? You know my dad's dead. You're a weirdo. I am You're so a weirdo. sorry. He's trying to be the bigger man and uh, apologise. Never apologise to these people. Tell them to go fuck themselves. That's my uh, thing. I, uh, I, you know, when I, I have been in situations with people like this and... Uh, you try to be civil to a point, and there does come a point when you have to tell them to go fuck themselves, and uh, I understand why he didn't there. I guess they're in a competition, whatever. I would tell her to go fuck herself. I'd say, you know exactly what you're doing, you manipulative bitch. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, you took okay, it. Cool, I'm so thank sorry. You. Can I just say? First of all, I am sorry I've offended you. Okay. I am unaware that you felt offended. Mm -hmm. I am unaware that what I said, you know, would lead to this conversation. Mm -hmm. I only said that in a way because I am older than you. I'm 51 and you're 26. I'm not stupid. Nella, it wasn't you're not like gonna that. little girl me. You're not. Nella, it wasn't like that at all. Okay, it wasn't like that. I promise you it wasn't like okay. that. On my children's life, it okay, wasn't like thank that. You. Thank you. If However, I made a mistake and I said something that offended you. I'm really okay, sorry. Cool. I'm really sorry you feel Thank like you. this. I accept your apology. I really feel sorry. But, but in order for but us to live in this camp together, I don't want to eat no food that you're cooking. Don't talk to me. You stay over there. I stay over here. And we can live. I'm good. 
yeah? You stay over there, because the thing is, look at your face, you, you're a smiley, you don't even give a You know, normally I'd, uh, I'd try to say something funny about uh, this, but uh, this has turned into a bit of a, <laughs> a P PSA. Uh, this, uh, this is the kind of person you want to avoid at all costs. There are no redeeming qualities. She is, and I know it's an overused term, a narcissist. She's uh, trying to make herself out to be a victim of something when nothing's happened to her. And uh, she's bullying Fred there. And uh, I think it's pretty telling that uh, she's bullying a guy who uh, English isn't his first language. It's almost like she singled out the guy that mm, she knew wouldn't have necessarily the dexterity to uh, defend himself as much as someone else. If she tried to pull that shit on me, you just try and pull that shit with me, Nella. He gave me just such a sh apology that he didn't mean he was smiling half the time. So I just feel like if I don't like somebody, I'm not going to force myself to speak to them. This is not the kind of person I want to be around. These are not the kind of comments I want to be subject to. Okay, listen, I did not pick up on the vibe, right? But you never do. <laughs> Fred is trying to apologise, like I didn't pick up on the vibe. <laughs> you never do, though! Nasty, disgusting bully. We don't have to tolerate that. Nobody has to tolerate that. <laughs> and you, could, <laughs> you never do! What I mean is you could have said straight away, excuse me, Fred, this is... This I is went upsetting to bed, I didn't eat your food. Can you not clock on the vibe? No, because you've been sleeping quite a lot, so I thought you were tired. If I made a faux pas, you know, unwillingly, unconsciously, I am very sorry, but this all this was all it was. It cool. was that's all it was. Now, if you want to take it to the nth degree and not speak to me anymore, it's your choice. It's you your only prerogative. You get one chance to disrespect me. Okay. I accept your apology, but let's not be friends. All How right. about that? And do you you don't want your rice? I think I'm very good. I'm good. Okay, I will love it then. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. See you later. Well, what can I say? Fred has a lot more class than I do. This video is getting kind of long and uh, there's a whole argument she got into with Nigel Farage and then there's her YouTube channel I want to look at as well. There's loads of other things. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and uh, I'll do a deeper dive into it uh, tomorrow maybe or something. Give this video a thumbs up, share it, whatever. Thanks. See you in the next one.